Hello guys, welcome back again. This is a part two of Microsoft Excel shortcut keys. So in this video, I will try to show you a lot of new and some old shortcut keys. So watch the video till the end and also watch the part three video to get the all shortcut keys. Okay, so let's start. So how to go to the page setup in Excel. So in Excel, you can press Alt PSP. A page setup will open from here. You can select your a margin or portrait or landscape and adjust all this thing okay so this is the key for page setup and to change the font style just press alt h ff okay hold the alt key press h and then press ff and from here you can change your font style like this yeah easy and to change the font size hold the alt key and press h and then fs now directly you can change or type your fonts size and hit enter yeah easy and how to merge the cell to merge the cell just select the cell you which you want to merge press alt h m and hit enter and that's it look at it. your cell has been merged for table style you can press alt h and then t you can select your table style yeah good and next is how to auto fit cell so select the cell or entire column or sheet to auto fit like this and after this just hold the alt key and press h o a look at that your entire selected cell will be auto fitted yeah it's good so next is how to add and un unhead the column to head the columns just keep the cursor on the cell or column which you want to head and then press ctrl 0 your column will be head to unhead just uh, right click on anywhere on the column and click on unhead yeah your column will be unhead and next is how to create the chart to create the chart just press f11 your chart will be created in this separate sheet as you can see here this is my working sheet and here the chart is created okay so f11 for creating the chart and to go to the home if you are working on the bottom or end if you want to go to the top of the your sheet just press control home button and you will be on the home to go to end just press control end and you will be on the end of your worksheet okay and to move between uh, your workbook just press control page up and page down to move in between your worksheet look at that control page up and page down control page down and page up to move on between sheets okay and next is how to zoom in for zoom in hold the control alt and press is equal to for zoom in and for zoom zoom out hold the control alt and press minus yeah it's so simple and to format the cell just press control one and it will open your format cell and for paste special you can press control alt to be so it will show the all paste special option and next is how to apply the formula so here i have a formula and i want to apply to all my sheet so just select the formula and blank sheet and then press control D and it will work and it will apply the your for and it will apply the formula on the selected cell control D okay to apply the formula cell. and to open the analysis just press control Q and you will get the your quick analysis from here you can choose the your data bar color icon set and everything look at a chart yeah and to create the table just press ctrl l and you will get the option to create table and next is how to check your workbook statics press ctrl shift g and it will give you the all detail about your workbook okay ctrl g and to select the entire your workbook control a yeah it's easy everyone know this 
and next is how to select cell and column very simple and very easy just press ctrl shift and use the right arrow key to select from the right to left and if you're working left then press ctrl shift left arrow key and to select the column just hold the ctrl shift and press time arrow key to select from the top to down and if you're working down just press ctrl shift up arrow key to select the from bottom to up yeah it's very easy and next is how to insert the line into cell so here i'm going to insert the line for this hold the alt key and press enter and line will be added look at that yeah go to the cell edit and then alt enter and you can insert the new line okay good and next is very simple like how to do redo or undo Control y to redo Control z to undo yeah it's very easy everyone knows this and now let's see how to expand or collapse formula bar hold the Control shift u to expand the formula bar here you can see this is the formula bar and to collapse it press Control shift u again yeah Control shift u to expand and collapse the formula bar and now let's see how to select the text to the end okay to the end okay so for this Control shift press end it will select from the point where you keep the cursor to the end look at that Control shift end to select the text from your start point so there are some important shortcut key which i have tried to show in part two if you didn't watch the part one then please watch it i have given link in the video description as well as on the card of this video and part three also coming very soon of microsoft excel shortcut keys and 99% viewer did not subscribing to my channel uh, if you got any help from my video then please subscribe to my channel and uh, if i miss any important shortcut key in the part 2 then please uh, let me know in comments i will definitely include into part 3 so see you in the part 3 take care and bye bye